You should not do your makeup routine without a skincare routine. If you sleep in your makeup, you need to stop. You need to stop. I'm talking to you, okay? I can see you. Your mascara is flaking off. It's probably because it's old. Your foundation is looking streaky and runny. Maybe because it's old. Don't get caught out here with herpes and the lips. Don't get caught out here with eye size. We don't want that. I don't want that for you. Honey, let's talk about it because I, I want you to do well, okay? I want your makeup to look as best as it can, so let's get into this. Here are the seven reasons that I feel like your makeup may not look as best as you would want it to look, okay? Now, this is all relative, right? Like, you might think your makeup looks fantastic. If it does, then this is not for you. But if you are questioning the way your makeup's coming out and you're just like, what is wrong? What am I doing wrong? I think that one of these seven reasons might be the case. First is a skincare routine, and I've actually done a video specifically on this one because it's that important. This is all my opinion, let's just say that, okay? Number 1A is that you should not do your makeup routine without a skincare routine. Okay, that's 1A. 1B, please don't ever do your makeup routine without a skincare routine, okay? Because the skin beneath the makeup plays a role in how the makeup looks on the skin. You feel what I'm saying? Look at my face, okay? Close up, here we are. Cause a lot of times I'll get comments, even in person or online, like, man, your skin just looks so good. What foundation you have on? And it's not just the foundation. It's not just the powder. It's the skincare routine too. So watch that video for a deep dive into why and what you should be doing in your skincare routine to get your skin to look its best underneath the makeup. But the first thing is first, you gotta have one. You gotta at least have one. Like. You gotta have one, you know? Secondly, if you sleep in your makeup, you need to stop. You need to stop. Let me tell you, there was a time where, honey, I was out to a 4.30 in the morning, okay? We had gone to the spa and then the act spa, and I got home and I still came home and I still washed my makeup off, okay? I still used a cleansing balm, then a cleanser, you feel me? And then I put, I, like, if I am really, really tired, I will just put on a sleeping mask, which is usually a cream that is so rich in moisture and hydration that it'll last me through the night and literally just that process Product is my skincare routine for the evening. Just real simple, quick and dirty, and it gets the job done. But at least, please wash off your makeup before you go to bed, because what's gonna happen? Clogged pores lead to breakouts. Breakouts lead to uneven skin tone. Uneven skin tone leads to hyperpigmentation, and then so on and so forth. And then we have the issues that are showing underneath the makeup that make many of us unhappy. Now, you may not have an issue with that, and if you don't, that's not for you. But if you have an issue with dark spots, breakouts, rashes, what have you, it might be because you're sleeping in your makeup. So I am encouraging you, imploring you to please wash off the makeup. And that is not with a makeup wipe, unless you are going in after the wipe with a cleanser. But many times we feel like the wipe itself is taking off the makeup, it's not, okay? That's a whole different story, but please use a cleansing balm and then a cleanser, okay? That's gonna get all of the makeup off and then do your skincare routine, okay? Primer, honey. I have to say, I don't always use a setting spray at the end of my makeup routine, but I will usually use a primer, okay? So the primer that I choose is based on my environment and what exactly I'll be doing. So do I want to be matte? I will use a matte primer and or a translucent powder under the foundation. Do I want to be dewy? Is it cold outside where I am? Then I may really go heavy with the skincare and then that will be my primer or I will use an actual primer that is hydrating. That's why I said I will usually use a primer because if I'm trying to give a hydrated dewy look and I've really packed on the skincare and done different things with it because there are different products to use to get that achieved dewiness on the face, then that may suffice as my primer before my foundation. So there are some nuances there. I don't want to confuse you, but in general, it's important that you are using some kind of primer to achieve the desired look that you want. Now, that also accompanies what kind of foundation you use, the powder you use, right? And, and look at my videos on these things to get more of an in-depth dive on those topics like like how to keep your face matte and on how to make your makeup last all day. Cause I've done lots of wear tests on this as well. And you'll see me actually do my makeup in these videos. But just the longer the short, make sure you're using a primer, please. Honey, that makeup might be expired. Okay, let's just call it what it is. I know that there are a lot of people that are hanging on to the best of the best in their eyes for their makeup that they've had for the longest time that just works for them. And you know, life just goes on and days are passing, months and years. And you're like, oh, this is my 
my tried and true powder from when I was, you know, from four years ago. And it's like, what? Now, I have an issue with this too because I have a lot of makeup because of the job that I do. But I know that y'all be having that tried and true makeup kit. I'm talking to you, okay? I can see you. You got that tried and true makeup kit. That stuff been in there for a minute. You feel me? That eyeliner been in there for a few years. You know what I'm saying? And you don't, you, you do your makeup like every now and again. So the eyeliner never gonna run out. You feel me? We need to get rid of this, okay? This stuff needs to go in the trash. If you're finding that your mascara is flaking off, it's probably because it's old. Your foundation is looking streaky and runny, maybe because it's old. Because whenever I hear people say like, oh, my foundation gets like, like runny and loose and starts moving around on my face midday. I'm just like, where? Why is this happening? I don't have that issue ever. If you've seen my, my wear tests, I can do a 12, 14 hour wear test and my foundation looks the same as it did in the morning. I'm not lying. Look at my channel. So I just don't understand how that happens. Please break it down for me if this has ever happened to you, meaning the breaking down of the makeup. Like does your makeup break down at a certain point? Please explain that to me. But I think that it could be because the stuff is expired, you know? Give it a good shake. Obviously if it's laying down or it's been sitting there for a while, if you don't use makeup very often, but let's throw these out, right? All your foundations don't need to be 50, 70, $80. There's some really great drugstore foundations that are six, eight, 10, $12. For the love of God, please toss out your old stuff. That's all of it, that's foundation. It's the powder, it's the mascara, it's the liners, it's the lippies, it's the whole nine yards, okay? Don't get caught out here with herpes and the lips. Don't get caught out here with eye styes. Okay, we don't want that. I don't want that for you. Dirty brushes is also a culprit. And I have to be honest, I don't wash my brushes as often as I should. So I get it, okay? I do my makeup a lot. <laughs> so, and I have different brush stashes also. I am not the greatest at washing my brushes as often as I should. I will be very honest about that. Thankfully, I have not found that to be a contributor to any skin issues, but you may find that you are breaking out because of dirty brushes. Perhaps you have sensitive skin make sure that your brushes are clean because maybe the caked up foundation brush is not allowing you to put on your foundation in the best way possible maybe the caked up powder brush is getting in the way of the powder looking as buttery smooth as it could you feel what I'm saying so just please make sure that those brushes are clean I have a link down below for an Amazon brush set that you can buy and the whole brush set can take you from beginning to end and do a bomb makeup look that I actually did with the brush set so look down below to take a look at that and of course with that brush set I use a makeup sponge and you know I like the elf ones Amazon has some but I've grown to like the elf ones better I'll link those below as well this next one honest to god I don't understand now maybe I don't understand because I'm very conscious of it but y'all be touching your face like y'all will sit there and go like I, I I can't even do it to demonstrate that's how much restraint I have over this thing but I be with like friends and I just will see it on video and in person and I'll just be like so they're just gonna sit there and just rest their face on their hand and then wipe something off of their cheek and like go like this, I could never. What I will do is use my nail to perhaps get something off of my face. I'll look in the mirror and flick something if it's a hair or what have you. I will blot my face with a tissue, yes, and my makeup stays in place, but I'm not gonna be sitting here touching my face and doing all this through the day. I feel very strongly that that is partly why your makeup may not be looking the way you want it to look. Why are we touching our faces? And then a lot of this transfer that many of us don't want to happen is happening because of all of this, all of this. All of this, touching, and then touching, and touching papers, and desks, and keyboards, and, and phones, and my, mice, you know, the mouse on the computer. Touching, touching, touching. So then the makeup is transferring. Why is there makeup on our hands? What is happening? Why one? I'm just confused. I do not touch my face. Please don't touch your face. Number one, the, the hands are dirty, okay? Our hands touch everything, and everything is dirty. That's number one. So bacteria, transfer, clogged pores, breakouts, we don't want that, okay? Number two, you leaving, you, you messing up the whole, the whole canvas. You spent 30, 45, one hour, one hour and a half. I don't know how long you take, but you know what I'm saying? Maybe 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Comment and let me know. How long do you take? You take 10 minutes? I take like an hour. That's just me, okay? But you spent all this time painting that face and here you are at work touching or in, in the in the drive-thru at the, at the traffic light and you touching your face and you like literally wiping. And I'd be like, did she just wipe her face? Isn't she wearing makeup? What is she doing? Like, maybe it's because I wear full coverage. Maybe the ones of y'all who touch your faces, maybe you have on light coverage. So when you touch it or wipe something, it doesn't leave a streak. But I wear full coverage, okay? Now, full coverage is the concentration of the product, not the not the thickness of the application of the product. It's the concentration, okay? The full coverage application that I have on, on a day-to-day -day basis, cannot survive any kind of, oh, you know, it's just, oh, I just feel so tired. It just, just, uh-uh, I can't. 
can't have that. I cannot have it. I can't do it. It's not gonna work. I will be somewhere like, yo, I have a tiger strip on my cheek. How? And now what? Because I don't carry a such a case. I do not touch up my face once I leave my house. Even when I was working in the office, I never had a case. I would always carry nude lippies with me just in case, like if I had a amount of gloss, a gloss will come off when you're eating and drinking, but a matte lip, I would never carry my matte lip and it would last me from five in the morning till, you know, when I got back up at 5.30. It would just be on, you feel me? Make sure you stop touching your face. I just, I can't understand it. Please, for the love of God, stop touching your face. Number seven is practice. Many times people feel like they can binge watch 100,000 videos and then know how to do makeup. No, it's not gonna look the way you want it to look unless you're practicing. You gotta get somewhere. If you knew me 14 years ago when I started doing makeup, you, it, it, no, it did not look like this. Granted, not everyone will need this amount of time to, to get to this point. A lot of us are quick learners and I was really, really good after maybe five years. In my opinion, good is relative. I consider myself good at that point, but I was getting questions since day one. Like, oh my God, who did you make up? Can you do mine? But I'm just saying, you gotta practice. You cannot expect to binge watch videos and then ask a million questions and then never actually put into practice. You're gonna have to go through the ugly stage or the practicing, the you know, the growing stage or like, oh, I don't like it, it looks weird. You gotta go through it. We all did, like, come on, right? Practice when you're going to work, when you're at home, when you're going to church, when you're just gonna go to dinner, lunch, whatever the case is, you gotta practice so that when you have somewhere important to go to, a wedding, a baby shower, a really important meeting, a job interview, whatever the case is, you know what to do. At that point, you've already put in the hours to really bang out a beautiful, soft glam look or an easy 10 minute look that gets you where you wanna go. You're not like scrambling and you're not confident in how it came out. Whatever you wanna do with your makeup, whether it's high powered, full glam, or it's a beautiful 10 minute look that you just wanna nail and be able to do without feeling flustered, you gotta practice. Okay, so I hope that these seven tips or topics or subjects shine some light on some things that you may need to consider when thinking about why your makeup is not looking how you want it to look. All right, there are two more videos here for you to choose from to watch, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.